This is video about my CNC sewing machine that I made. Uh, it's running Mac 3, Lima 23 stepper motors, which are absolutely huge for this job, but I had them laying about from uh, from another project that I've previously done. Um, Off-the-shelf embroidery machines are really quite expensive. I wanted to see if I could make one on a budget. I had a little look around the internet and a, a, a few people had kind of tried it with mixed success. So this is what I came up with. Um, as you can see it's clearly a bit of a mock-up there's lots of MDF and uh, self tappers but you know it works quite well it does the job it was intended to do it's done quite a few projects the reason that I chose a Singer 15 is that they're seriously cheap those made by the millions uh, through doing a bit of research the later models you can drop the feed dogs on this one I had to remove them just so that the uh, embroidery hoop would move around nice and freely um, belt drive system just for ease of installation pros and cons of this conversion um, if you already have a lot of the CNC hardware uh, um, available to you it's a really cheap conversion if you had to buy it it's probably easier just to buy a, a, a second-hand embroidery machine off eBay um, another pro Effectively, the travel in one of your axes is almost unlimited, the size, just dependent on the size of the hoop that you'd like to make. The other one is controlled by the throat of the machine. Um, very easy to repair should it go wrong. You've made it, so you know how to fix it. Cons. Um, compared with a, a, a bespoke embroidery machine, for sure it's slower. On this one, I'm running a 2 to 1 reduction ratio through the, through the actual um, sewing machine itself. I think if you went one to one, obviously you would uh, be much faster. But I think still compared with a, a modern sewing machine, it's it's not even close. Physical footprint of the machine is obviously quite big with the linear rails, uh, and it's relatively noisy. The stepper motor is just buzzing away all the time. You know, if you're doing an embroidery project that's going to take a couple of hours, you'd have to lock it in a room and walk away from it. Another downside is um, the embroidery file you save as a Tajima format and then some software from Khalid off of, I think it was CNC Zone, use that to convert it into G-code for Mac 3 to run. Uh, so there's a bit of faffing around with uh, file formats, but it, it works quite well. If you have any questions about the CNC conversion, just drop me a message on YouTube here and I'll do my best to get back to you. Uh, I'll just post a few uh, images of various uh, embroidery projects that I've done at the end here. And happy building! <laughs> 